Hey, this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for March the 10th. Today in 1524, Henry VIII was in a jousting accident. No, not the famous one of 1536 when everyone thought he was dead. This one was against Charles Brandon because Henry had forgotten to put down his visor. The chronicler Edward Hall writes, The 10th day of March, the king, having a new harness, armor, made of his own design and fashion such as no armorer before that time had seen, thought to test the same at the tilt and appointed a joust to serve his purpose. On foot were appointed the Lord Marquis of Dorset and the Earl of Surrey. The king came to one end of the tilt and the Duke of Suffolk to the other. Then a gentleman said to the Duke, Sir, the king has come to the tilt's end. I see him not, said the Duke, on my faith, for my headpiece takes my sight. With these words, God knoweth by what chance the king had his spear delivered to him by the Lord Marquis, the visor of his headpiece being up and not down nor fastened, so that his face was clean naked. Then the gentleman said to the duke, Sir, the king cometh. Then the duke said forward and charged his spear, and the king likewise inadvisedly set off towards the duke. The people, perceiving the king's face bare, cried, Hold, hold! But the duke neither saw nor heard, and whether the king remembered that his visor was up or not, few could tell. But when the spear landed on that place, it was a great jeopardy of death, insomuch that the face was bare, for the duke's spear broke all to splinters and pushed the king's visor so far back by the counter blow that the king's headpiece was full of splinters. The armorers for this matter were much blamed, and so was the Lord Marquis for delivering the spear when his face was open. But the king said that no one was to blame but himself, for he intended to have saved himself and his sight. The duke immediately disarmed himself and came by the king, showing him the closeness of his sight, and swore that he would never run against the king again. But if the king had been even a little hurt, the king's servants would have put the duke in jeopardy. Then the king called his armors and put all his pieces together and took a spear and ran six courses very well by which all men might perceive he had no hurt, which was a great joy and comfort to all of his subjects there present. That's your Tudor Minute for today. Remember, you can dive deeper into life in 16th century England through the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com.